This is a CAS instructional video covering scale network setup. In this video, we will show how to connect to your scale via Wi-Fi or serial connection. To connect via serial, you will need a USB to nine pin serial adapter. We will be showing how to connect via CL5500, but the same applies for a CL7200. We will cover that specifically in a future video. Okay, in this part of the video, we will be acquiring our network information needed to up to our scale. Go down to your search bar and type CMD. Go to Command Prompt. Get this screen here. Um, this is where we will be acquiring our IP address information um, for our gateway and for our scale. Type IP config and hit enter. Down on the bottom here, you will see the um, three numbers that we're looking for. Um, the most important one is the default gateway and the subnet mask. Those are the two numbers you will need um, when we are inputting them in the scale later on, so write them down. Um, back down to the search bar, you're looking for the control panel. Select that. Down to network and internet. over to view network status and you will see your um, the name of your network over here your Wi-Fi connection um, you will need that obviously you should know that already um, just make sure you have it handy with your password you also need under the security tab here um, you will need your security type you see the very top there um, this particular setting is WPA2 Personal, which is the most common, but you may have a different setup on your computer. So write down this security type for later. Last thing we're doing in the search bar, once again, um, we're going to be looking for the device manager. This is only for people using the serial 9-pin connector, not if you're using Wi-Fi. But you will need this handy, so just follow along and uh, get this if you need it. Go up to view, show hidden, and we're looking for our COM port. For this particular case, it's COM3 on the ports here. Go to COM3, so you'll be able to right click and go to properties, and go over to the settings tab. This is where you'll get your baud rate. This is the, um, the baud rate, uh, is also the bits per second. Um, you'll need this if you're using the serial nine pin connector to hook up properly. So it, just write this down with all your other information. Keep it handy in case you do need to use that serial connection. That's it for this part of the video. We're going to move on to inputting all this information into the scale next. Okay, this is part two. Um, we're going to be entering the information into the scale now. This is if you're using Wi-Fi or a network. We're going to be using the network menu. Um, you'll spend a lot of time in this menu when you're setting up your scale. So that I go to 1900 menu. So bring up the communications menu. Select one. Service type. Um, you can you can give a number to your scale, and you can also change the service type. But we're obviously using network, so we're going to keep that. Next down is DHCP. We'll cover this later, how to set this up, but this is a convenience, um, so you don't have to manually input an IP address, and it is the most popular used method. Okay, this is our IP address screen. This is the information we wrote down before. You wanna have that handy. Um, you're going to be inputting the information you got for the gateway and for the subnet mask. Those two should line up there. And then you can give your scale its number. Should be within the around 25 of your gateway number. As you can see, the gateway and the scale IP are going to match the first three numbers. The only difference is the last one. The gateway, you have to make sure that is entered correctly and then you can number the last three for your scale, whatever you'd like. 
the subnet mask is usually three identical numbers and then usually zeros at the end, but it may be different for your device. Just make sure everything is inputted correctly. You never have to change the TCP port, but just make sure that it's 20304. Double check everything here. Make sure it is all inputted correctly. We're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, press save, you'll get a countdown. Once the scale has rebooted, we're going to go back to our network menu. And that's 1900 menu. If you'd like to go about it a different way, you can also get to that same menu just by pressing menu, scrolling down, you get to communications, nine, and then you select one, and go back to the same menu again. Um, we just entered our IP information, so we're good there. We're gonna scroll down and look at remote IP, which is a feature we'll show in a future video. RS-232 is the serial 9-pin connector. Um, this is where we got our baud rate. You want to make sure that's entered correctly here if you're using that method. Okay, 6 is where you're going to enter your network information for your Wi-Fi. It's what you would be enter if you were going on your phone for the first time. It's your Wi-Fi. Um, you're going to use the keypad on the left to enter the SSID, which is the name of the network. Don't try to use the 5G networks. If you have it, use the, the 4G or lower. Um, 5G has issues. So for our case here, um, you can use the capital letters and then shift will switch case sensitive to lowercase. Uh, your security setting is, this is where we got before, um, in the first part of the video, we did acquire this information. You wanna make sure that this is entered correctly or your skill won't show up when you search for it. Um, again, five is the most popular um, WPA2 personal. Um, just showing you here where we got this in case you forgot. Um, this is very important. This is, trips a lot of people up. Make sure this is entered correctly. And the last thing you're gonna do on this page is you're gonna enter your password for your network. Again, make sure it's all case sensitive, everything's accurate. If it's not, you will have issues and you won't be able to connect to your scale. Okay, operation mode, you won't have to change. Just double check everything here and press save. Don't press print. Like the menu or other manuals might tell you you want to hit save. It'll take a second and if everything was entered correctly, you'll get one beep and it will come back to the screen. If you get network error and two beeps, something was entered wrong, you wanna double check. Check your security type and your password. Make sure that um, everything was entered correctly. So if one thing was off, you will, you will get an error if your security type or your password was incorrect. Um, the last thing we're gonna look at here is check scale, which is number four. See, we can see that the information we changed, our scale IP address now has 12 at the end. Um, if you're on tech support and they're asking, you know, what your IP address or your, your port is, you can quick check this here just to make sure everything's okay. Um, all right, that covers this portion of the video. Um, next, we're going to use DHCP, which is the most popular method of connecting with Wi-Fi. Okay, in this portion, we're hooking up um, via Wi-Fi with DHCP, which just auto assigns an IP address to your scale so you don't have to go to that third option. Um, we're gonna get to that through the same menu tree, network settings, we're gonna go to DHCP. Um, you do have to have your, uh, your network information inputted already before you change this to yes. So make sure you have your network and Wi-Fi information entered already. Save that, you will get the countdown again. 
and if you get um, this screen, you're, you're all good to go. If you get a DHCP fail, try entering your information again. Okay, this part of the video, we are going to be hooking up to CL Works Pro um, using all the information that we did before. If everything was entered correctly, you will um, be able to scan for your device, for your scale, and it will show up here. Um, you can add stuff manually and delete it here. I suggest if you are if you have a bunch of scales on your network, um, you want to delete them when you're done working on them because they'll linger around in here and might confuse you when you add a new scale. You can always re-add um, an existing scale by scanning for it again. Um, the connect test button and the scan button are what we're going to use. Um, in this part, we're not going to add anything manually until we get to the um, serial connection part of the video, but in this case we are connecting via um, Wi-Fi, so we're going to use the TCP IP option. Um, again, you want to make sure that all of your um, information was entered already um, on your scale from your network. If everything was entered correctly, it will show up here just by pressing scan. Um, it may take a few times, usually two or three times almost never shows up on the first try. Um, don't get discouraged, just keep scanning for it. Um, if you scan more than 10 times, you might have an issue you want to go check the scale. Um, but in this case, it usually usually takes two or three times of scanning um, and your, your device will show up. Scan. And there we see our device. Um, you'll see your scale with its specific IP address, um, your TCP port, um, your model. Just confirm your model. Sometimes it, it designates the wrong model. Um, so you want to make sure we have a CL5500, so we'll select that. You do have to select your type. We have a, the most popular type, the bench type. Select your option here. Okay, then you can name your scale. You can name this whatever you want for, for your reference. And it's a new scale, um, and you will see the firmware version on the right-hand side box here. Um, this is a good place to find what firmware you're running if you're on the phone with tech support. Then save that. And you are all connected here. You're good to go if you're seeing this screen. We're going to test it real quick by going to the PLU page. This just confirms that it is communicating properly. So we have our PLU from the last video. We're going to be using the download tab to download this information. So you want to select the PLUs that you want to download. Press download. If you get 100% green bar complete, you're good to go. It's communicating properly and you're all set. Um, there are a few other things you can do um, with, the, with the upload tab here. Um, now that our scale has this PLU, we can delete this and now we can upload that information from our scale to SealWorks. This is handy for if you have an existing scale and you, you bought a new one and um, you want to update it, you can upload the information to SealWorks with this page here um, and get all the PLUs on another scale. You can see now here's our, our PLU, it's on the scale. You can also um, use the delete tab to delete certain items off your scale. If you want to delete specific PLUs and leave some other ones, you can use this page here. And we're going to delete this one off the scale, but if you use the arrow tab on the delete button here, you can see delete checked and delete all. Okay, that's, uh, that's it for this portion of the video. The next part of the video is going to cover um, hooking up various serial and nine pin connector. Okay, now we are going to try connecting to our scale wired via serial cable. You have to navigate to the 1915 menu, which controls the baud rate. Uh, we talked about this before, ours was set at 9600. We should have written down what your device was. 
Um, you can change that here if it is different. Just make sure to save it. And now we are good to travel to CL Works. Here we will be using the, um, the same tab that we did before to connect via Wi-Fi. Um, just make sure you do have your baud rate set for this step um, on your scale. Select the scale tab. Um, on the screen now you can see the adapter that you will need to connect to your PC. This has a USB end to go into your PC and then the nine pin adapter that will connect to the wire provided. Okay, make sure to select serial on the left hand side. We're doing TCP IP before, now we're connecting via serial. Now when you're connecting via serial, you do have to add the scale manually. So select add. Port setting is what we looked at before. Um, ours is COM3, may be different for you. Make sure you only have one scale hooked up at a time. Select your COM port. The baud rate um, we know is 9600. Um, make sure that this matches what you just put in on your scale, otherwise it won't connect properly. This was the 9600. Let's make sure to add your scale model and its type. We have a CL5500 bench, so select that. You can name your scale for your reference. You can see these fields won't populate. Um, as we're doing this manually, you have to select the scale here and pre press connect test. This will show if the it is connected status. If everything worked okay, you'll see connected. You'll see failed if something was wrong. You'll also see your latest, your, your version of this, the firmware. So you have to check that. Um, and you are good to go. This is connected via serial. Everything else applies the same the PLU testing.